Uh, hi guys, uh, my name is uh, Philip Yakea and um, I would like to talk about uh, uh, nuclear weapons and by the way this is a special request uh, by one of my fans who requested that uh, Philip uh, should talk about uh, nuclear weapons um, and um, the likelihood of uh, them waging a third world war. And I would like to say that uh, uh, through my research uh, there are nine countries that are known to pro to process to possess uh, nuclear weapons uh, nuclear weapons we have the united states we have russia we have uh, uh, china we also have france we have the united kingdom we have india we have pakistan we have north korea and israel the united states and russia together possess uh, more than um, around uh, 90% of the world's total nuclear weapons Okay, uh, with the rest uh, divided among the other <clears throat> uh, seven countries, it is important to also note. It is also important to note that uh, um, uh, that some of these countries, such as North Korea, um, are not parties to the Nuclear Proliferation Treaty, and are not legally recognized as nuclear weapons uh, states under international law. What does that mean? It means that there are some uh, uh, there are some laws uh, uh, in the world. There are some uh, uh, there are some laws that uh, govern on um, who is supposed to uh, own nuclear weapon weapons and who is not supposed to own uh, nuclear weapons. But uh, as you uh, as I have told you, um, there are some countries that are owning nuclear weapons illegally. Okay, what does that mean? <clears throat> okay, I would like to further say that. Uh, the a, a possession, a possession of these uh, uh, nuclear weapons by the nine countries uh, has led to uh, concerns about uh, potential for global conflict, um, uh, commonly referred to as the World War Three. Uh, the use of nuclear weapons uh, could uh, uh, have uh, devastating consequences, of course, uh, f for the entire world, as they have. Uh, uh, the capacity to cause widespread destruction and loss of life on on a scale that is uh, uh, unprecedented unprecedented uh, in, in human history okay i would also like to say that nuclear weapons are considered to be the most destructive and powerful weapons in the world and their and their use uh, could potentially uh, lead to a global conflict uh, the 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 potential uh, uh, the potential for glo global conflict involving nu nuclear weapons exist. Uh, they do ex of course they do exist because of the destruction of power of uh, of these weapons and the potential for their use to escalate a conflict. Okay, um, I would also like to say that uh, the use of nuclear weapons uh, could lead to a global conflict uh, in several ways. And um, one of uh, these ways, according to my own analysis, is that um, the use of nuclear weapons uh, by one country could trigger to a, retalia a retaliatory uh, response uh, from another country, leading to a cycle of uh, escalation. Escalation. Second, I will, according to my analysis, I would like to say that the use of nuclear weapons could lead to the, a breakdown of diplomatic relations uh, between countries resulting in a loss of um, trust and an increase in tension okay you realize according to my knowledge in international relation is that uh, no country can survive in its own countries they do depend on each other there is the interdependence like if you you produce sugar you do not have maize your staple food is maize you do not have maize so you depend on a country that uh, produces a uh, uh, maize for you to survive Okay, you have maize, you have sugar, you do not have oil. You have to uh, depend on the other country for oil, you see. So those are uh, uh, relations. If, um, if I feel like you have, a, you have nuclear weapon, I do not have nuclear weapon. You are giving me threats that, uh, threats that uh, uh, you will finish me completely with your nuclear weapons. And then, then you also need maize from me. Um, of course, uh, it is obvious you'll not get that maze from me. So those are diplomatic relations. Then in terms of diseases, when we talk about international relations, we, we talk of uh, those interdependencies. I depend, you, I depend on you on, the, uh, on this. You depend uh, on me on this. 
like uh, even in terms of diseases there is a disease in Kenya maybe a disease that has emerged in Kenya most likely it may reach to Tanzania it may reach to Ghana it may reach to all other african uh, all other countries you know uh, including the western countries so that relation diplomatic relation it may break okay thirdly i would like to say that um I would like to say that uh, the use of nuclear weapons uh, could also lead to collapse of the global economic systems. Uh, economic systems, as the destruction caused uh, by these weapons could uh, disrupt trade and uh, disrupt the flow of global of goods and services around the world. Um, okay, I would like to say that. Um, Yeah, it is also uh, uh, it is also important uh, for countries to work together to work uh, towards reducing the number of uh, nuclear weapons uh, in the world and to establish proto uh, protocols for de uh, de escalating uh, conflicts to prevent the potential for a nuclear uh, for global conflict involving nuclear uh, weapons. Okay, uh, what I'd like to uh, comment. Um, uh, to comment on all that that I've uh, said is that um, nuclear weapons are dangerous. They are very, very dangerous. And uh, they need serious regulations. They need serious regulations. Like if you're owning uh, these weapons, um, you need to assure the world that not at any given time that you are going to betray people by using those weapons against people. You see, because they are very, very destructive and there's a high likelihood that um, these countries that are owning these nuclear weapons, especially the ones that are owning the nuclear weapons illegally, that they may use those weapons to wage wars, war, World War Three. Okay, um, I will talk about uh, the war on Ukraine and Russia uh, later on uh, in my other videos. So guys, I just urge you to uh, go to my YouTube channel, please subscribe, share, and comment uh, so that uh, you may support my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much.